Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your new Google Pixel tablet. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is power it on. So locate the buttons on the left side of the tablet and press and hold the top one. You should see the Google logo appear when it powers on. Once it's completed powering up, you should be taken to a page just like this one here. It usually is pretty good at picking the primary language of where you're from or where you purchased it from. If you do need to set up any accessibility settings, you can tap right there, set them up, and then tap Get Started. From this section, it's going to search for your Wi-Fi connection. You can set it up offline down here. We're going to go through the Wi-Fi connection setup. So you're going to select yours and enter your password. Now, depending on your internet speed, this may take a short amount of time or a longer amount of time. You can see it says may take a few minutes. I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to watch the whole loading phase. So that took about maybe a minute for me. And now we're on this section here where it's going to allow you to copy apps and data from your Google account. So if you want to do that, you can choose next. If you don't, you want to start fresh, you can tap don't copy. So if you do tap next, it's going to bring you to this page. Use your old device. You can use your old Android. I have a pixel right here. Turn it on, keep it unlocked, and you can follow these steps. We're going to go back though, and I'm just going to set this up fresh. From the beginning, we're going to tap don't copy. Once again, now it's going to load and it may take a longer period of time for you than me but we're just gonna give it some time here to check for the information and I'll come back when it's done. So that took about 30 seconds and at this point you're going to enter in your Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you're going to create one down here and that's what you'll use in the future for the Google Play Store to download apps and things like that and for your sign-in for this tablet. So we're just gonna enter one in because we have one and then you'll need to enter the password, then tap enter or next. You can read through these terms and then tap I agree if you do. If you don't agree, you'll basically have to start again and add a new account. Again, it's gonna take some time to get the account information. And at this point here, you can choose how you wanna use your backup services and storage. So you can choose to use basic device backup and you can read here, use location if you want that on or not. I'm gonna leave it on for now, you can change it. And then you can scroll down, allow scanning, and that's just going to allow apps and services to scan for Wi-Fi networks and nearby devices anytime, even when Wi-Fi or Bluetooth is off. So if you don't like that, you can turn it off. You can also see more right here. And that's with most of these, anything you do set up here, you should be able to modify later in the settings as well. So just don't worry about it too much if you're not sure. Send usage and diagnostic data. I never send this with any of my devices. I just don't wanna send any of my information. And then install updates and apps. That means you're going to automatically download and install updates from Google, your carrier, device manufacturers, and it may do this using cellular data, all that stuff. So just read through this and then tap accept when you're ready. Your warranty information is being listed here. Tap next. Now you wanna set a pin for your tablet. So this is a four digit pin. You do have options here. So if you tap on that, you can choose to have a pattern, a pin, or even a password, which is going to give you an alphanumeric keyboard to set it up. We're gonna use the pin because that's the basic simple one here. And we're just going to set it up like this. I would strongly recommend you choose something better than that, but just for simplicity's sake, we're using that and we're gonna enter it one more time. You can set up a fingerprint unlock, and this is a cool feature. It's going to create a unique model of your fingerprint. That way you can unlock your device with your finger. So we'll just go through this and we'll set this up. Tap I agree, touch the power button, and it's showing you where it is right here. So we're just going to touch that power button. You'll see the check mark. And now we'll touch it again. Lift and touch it again. And you're just gonna kind of follow, make sure your finger covers the sensor. And you're just gonna keep doing this throughout kind of adjusting your finger across. Every time it does finish, you're kind of lifting it. Now the tip of your finger it wants. So we're putting the tips. And if it misses, you can see it does red. I'm not looking at it, so it's a little bit more difficult for me. And it's telling me what part of my finger it wants me to kind of have over that sensor. It's really difficult the way I'm positioned here, but I'm doing my best. And once you're done, it'll look like this on the page. You'll have a check mark, and now you can use your fingerprint to unlock your tablet and verify it's you, sign into apps, approve purchases, and things like that. You can add additional fingers if you want right here, but we're gonna tap next. 
Now here's where you can set up your Google Assistant with your Pixel tablet. So first one here is use Assistant without unlocking your tablet. So if you wanna be able to use the Google Assistant, ask it to do things and perform various tasks, you can leave this on. If you don't want it to work while it's locked, turn this switch off and it automatically will turn this one off as well. I'm gonna leave it on for now. And again, you can change these settings later in the settings app on your device. And then we'll tap, I agree. You can also skip this step if you want. We'll wait once again. Now this part here is very unique. If you did set up the voice assistant, you can actually use the activate voice match to use this keyword. And it's going to allow your assistant to identify you and tell you apart from others. So if you want to set this up, you can tap I agree and we'll do that. And on top of that, you can set it up with any of these as well. So if you want to identify music around you, get instant translations, add another email account, all this stuff, you can set this up here as well. Do that on your own. We're gonna say no thanks right now, and we're gonna to move to the next step. So this is get tips and tricks in your inbox. I do not wanna get these tips and tricks because I know them already. If you do, you can say yes, I'm in, or just subscribe to my channel and watch my videos and learn as I teach. So now it's gonna be getting your tablet ready. This is gonna take a few minutes as it says there, I'll speed it up for you and let you know how long it took for me. But again, depending on your internet speeds and your tablet, it may take a shorter amount or a longer amount of time. So that did take about three minutes to complete. And if you'd like, you can go through some of these sort of introductory swipe to navigate sort of gestures. And that is it, you're all set so we can swipe to go home. So we're just gonna swipe to the bottom. And this is our new Google Pixel tablet. And now we can use it as a tablet like this, or we can even hook it up to our dock just like this at our home and use it as if we were using a smart home speaker just like that. Now I'm going to remove it here and just kind of go over a couple of basic things to keep in mind because we did go through that whole setup process. If you do want to make any changes, you open your settings. And a lot of the time when you open something new, it's going to give you a quick tip like this. And you have everything you need right here on the left side. So you can search for what you're looking for. If you wanted to change a fingerprint, you can tap on that and just type in finger and it should pop up with fingerprint unlock. You can tap on that, go through the fingerprint unlock. You can look through all of these sections on the left here and then make any changes you need. That way it's fully customized to what you want to use it for and how it's going to work. But if you are looking to learn more about your new Google Pixel tablet, definitely subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting tons of tips, tricks, and tutorial videos on this tablet. I also have the Pixel phone, so there's a lot already available to you on that. And with this dock, it's going to be a lot of fun playing around with this. So if you want to learn how to use it and get everything you can, get the most out of your Pixel tablet, definitely subscribe to the channel, click that bell notification box, and hit the like button on this video if it was helpful or useful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.